God, I believe that you love me so much and sent your son Jesus Christ into this world to live a perfect life, then die to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that Jesus then rose from the dead to show that he had defeated the power of sin and death and that he is God. I believe what you said through the Apostle Paul in Romans 3 verse 23, that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I accept that and that I am a sinner and have failed you in many ways. I know that I stand in need of your forgiveness. In Acts 3 verse 19, you also said, Repent, therefore, and turn again, that all your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. So right now, by faith, I repent of my sin. I turn away from the pattern of living that says, you don't matter to me, God. I confess all the wrong that I have done and I embrace Jesus Christ by faith as the only basis of my forgiveness. Come into my heart. Forgive my sin and cleanse me. Give me new life in you. I receive you now. I thank you, Lord, in this moment by faith for allowing me to make the choice to trust in Christ alone. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. gratify the desires of the flesh for the desires of the flesh are against the spirit and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh for these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things that you want to do but if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law now the works of the flesh are evident sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you as I warned you before that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Galatians 5 verses 16 through 25.